What's up guys, Gaman Singh here and today we are going to take a look at how to root your OnePlus 5T. So one of the best things about the Oxygen OS is that it provides you a native stock Android experience by throwing in some customization options which are sometimes really useful. These customization options were a few years ago were only available on the customized, uh, custom ROMs like Lineage OS and uh, Resurrection Remix OS but all those now you can get on the Oxygen OS which comes pre-installed in the OnePlus devices. So today I'm going to show you how to root your phone so that you can get some more customizations using some root apps and much more. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so before we get started, you have to download these two files uh, to get started. What This is the TWRP recovery. This is the custom recovery which you are going to install. And this is the magisk that will enable root permissions on your phone. Then take your phone and connect it via a USB-C cable. And then go to settings, about phone, and go all the way down to the build number and hit it seven times until you see you are now a developer once you see this you will see a new option in your settings which is called developer options and here go to oem unlocking and enable it which will allow to the bootloader to be unlocked if you will not enable it then you will not be able to unlock the your boot lever and also uh, go to advanced reboot and enable it it will make it easier for you to go to a bootloader then press your power button and hit reboot then you will see these new options and go to bootloader touch again to reboot after the reboot finishes you will see this screen this is the fast foot mode once done you leave your phone aside while still connected to your pc and open the minimal adp and fast boot software which you have just downloaded also all the links will be in the description below so make sure to check before going ahead and here type fastboot devices and hit enter you should see these random characters and fastboot over here if it does, does not it pops up then you have to install the usb drivers for your phone i will leave the link in the description below for those two once you see this you are good to go ahead type fastboot OEM unlock after entering this command you will see this screen on your phone and uh, all the navigation will be done through power button and the volume buttons so hit the uh, volume down button it will highlight this one and hit it again it will highlight unlock the boot order and then hit the power button then you will see the screen do not press any key then your phone will uh, restart automatically and now it will wipe all the data once done you will see the screen again do not press any key and then you will see the screen now your phone is restarting once your phone reboots you have to power it off once again so power it off once it shut downs press the power button and the volume up button simultaneously and just you see the screen leave the buttons and here you will see the screen again and connect it to your data cable and leave it aside and get back to this command window here uh, type this command flashboot flash recovery and uh, go to the place where you have downloaded and stored that uh, recovery and uh, here just slide this to this command window and hit enter then after this process will complete uh, you have to get back to your phone again and here uh, press volume up button once again and still you see this recovery mode once you see this uh, hit power button and then you will see the screen again just uh, do not press any key 
and then your phone will reboot to the TWRP recovery just like here then slide to allow modifications and here leave this uh, as it is and in your computer screen you should see that your computer just detected this phone and now this is the time when you are going to flash this magisk this just copy it to the root of your storage once copied you can remove your data cable and go to install and go to magisk and swipe to confirm flash once done reboot your system and you will see this prompt uh, just untick both of them and hit do not install then you will see the screen once again just don't press any key and then your phone will reboot after your phone will reboot you will see the setup screen you have to do the setup and your phone will work like normal but you will also get the magic root root options in your phone that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching if you have any questions you can comment down in the uh, comment down and i will surely answer that thank you for watching and we'll talk to you guys in the next one peace